Hey guys, it's Drew with Future Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the one thing you need before you go to a coin show. It's very important, and so I wanna share it with you. Let's get this video started. So this past weekend, we went to the fun show down in Florida, and there's always a thing that got us to not go to the fun show. And that one thing that made us not go to the fun show was having a deal ahead of time. And what does a deal ahead of time look like? So, you know, when you're going to a show and there's a lot of kind of, you know, overhead expenses, but there also is a lot of uncertainty. What am I going to find for my customers? What am I going to buy for my customers? All of that lingers in your head as you're kind of being transported or moving towards the fun show. And so this time it was a little bit different for us and it made it a lot sweeter to go there. Um, and so we ended up buying a deal before going to the fun show. We just had to go there to pick it up. Uh, that, shout out to Bill. Thank you, Bill, for meeting us. Uh, we met Bill in a Buffalo Wild Wings and spoke for about 15 minutes. And we ended up picking up a bunch of high-grade Carson City Morgan dollars, most of them cacked, some that you just don't see very often. And, and so one thing that I would recommend to you guys, especially if you're wanting to become a coin dealer and increase profits over time and kind of climb to new heights and outperform previous years, you have to start thinking bigger. And the way you can start thinking bigger is that you can get connected with people at your local coin show and ask people if they're going to be at the fun show or the ANA show. And what that allows you to do is to start working through deals, start asking people what they have. And if you can start to pick up coins while you're at the show, or possibly meet a collector if they live in the area that you you know maybe work with on a regular basis. Uh, Bill goes to the show a lot, we go to the show sometimes, and so him having that money available that we brought to him and us getting those coins was just a really great trade-off. And it's, so it's super valuable to get that deal ahead of time just so there's not that uncertainty that lingers in your head with all that overhead. And so let's show you guys these new purchases. Let's show you guys these incredible Carson City Morgan dollars that were handpicked from a great collector. We hope you guys enjoy these coins. All right, guys, we have two trays lined out for you today. I want to show you exactly what we got from this Carson City deal. There's a few coins that we ended up selling at the show, but we'll show those possibly on screen if we have the photos. The first coin I want to show you is this 79cc. It's rated AU55. It's a cap die and it's CEC approved. It's a really original, really nice coin. Probably one of my favorites of the whole group. I don't know, this coin is just phenomenal. This is an 81cc. It's a great MS66 plus CAC. The cheek is really clean. The luster's there, has a subtle toning a little bit on the obverse and a little bit more on the reverse. Down by the $1 as you can see, but super close to a seven. Then we have this 82cc, it's created 66 plus also. This coin is almost flawless. I mean, there's a lot of these coins I could see almost being a seven. And in seven, these coins are pretty expensive and tough to find. Then we have this 83cc in 66 CAC. There's a lot of hits kind of right, up, right hugging, hugging right there by the mouth. But the luster is pretty strong. I don't know. A lot of these coins, they just kind of split hairs between 66, 66 plus. Um, and here's the 84 cc. This one is 66 plus CAC. I mean, take a look at the luster. Just phenomenal pieces. If you're a Morgan guy, this is kind of like, this is, you know, the cream of the crop. Definitely for Carson Cities. Most of these coins are so beat up that... Uh, it's hard to get any coins above a gem sometimes, especially the tougher dates, like this 85cc. So this 85cc, it's great mint state 66. It is CAC approved. It is white, it's flashy, and it is expensive. As of course, as of course you would know, since it's uh, one of the tougher dates of the series, especially in gem or higher. Let's move on to the second tray. So we have this 91 CC. It's graded Mint State 64 plus. It is CC approved. It's not a Spitting Eagle VAM, which is good because sometimes there's a lot of Spitting Eagle VAMs out there and people don't like them. 
some people do. So it's just kind of based on their preference. But most of the time you'll run to spitting vams uh, or spitting eagle vams a lot on 91 cc's. And people like both, of course. We have this 90 cc and min state 64 cac. Really good coin. If there wasn't that hit right behind the nose there, as you can see, this coin would have been a gem all day long. Another tough another tough grade, especially for uh, 90 cc's. Then we have two 83 cc's to end out this showing. This is an 83 cc and 65 plus. Not sure if Bill sent this one to CAC, but definitely is a nice white gem. And then we have this 83 cc and 65 plus CAC by PCGS. Has a light scrape right underneath the mouth towards the neckline. Other than that, I thought this coin would be super close to a 66, but I think that's what held it back. So just phenomenal coins, especially if you're a Morgan Dollar guy. And so let me know what you guys think of these coins below. Thank you so much for taking a look. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on these coins. Which one was your favorite? Uh, for me personally, I like the 90cc or the cacti. Uh, 79 cc but that's up to you make sure to uh, subscribe if you're new we just passed 5,000 subscribers which is a huge milestone thank you so much but we'll see you guys in the next video